We're back with Gold Rush. This is Scott, uh, and we are continuing on. As you can see, the title of this Restore game is called Yes. And why is it called Yes? It is called Yes because I went all the way back, played the game all the way through, and made sure that, I, or excuse me, got lucky, I guess, and was able to um, actually get to the camp. And as you can see, our uh, fellow Jared is no longer hunched over, no longer dying um, from cholera, and apparently that's a random event that takes place in the game. Now, um, I only thought it actually happened on the sh aboard the ships, but I guess it can happen at any point. And when it happens on the ship, supposedly you can restore right before you get on the ship and uh, you get another shot that it will not happen. However, I tried about three, maybe four times, probably three I think, um, just restoring before we left Brooklyn from different areas and it kept happening. So. I deduced there was nothing more I really could do than start over, and fortunately it's not a glitch in the game. Fortunately we can move on, but unfortunately I had to do that over again. Uh, one of the things you can might see is different is we have 58 out of 250 points instead of 57 out of 250 points. That's because I actually did a couple things. I um, took a look at the postmark on the envelope, and that gives you an extra point in Brooklyn. And I took a look at the uh, po uh, poster that's actually in a warehouse that we'll check out um, next time. It's not too important, but uh, next time, I mean, when we take the ship, but it does advertise the shipping prices. I guess you have to do it regardless of which type of transportation. Now, that would actually have brought me up to 59 out of the 60 points. However, I lost one point stepping on some grass, but I figured that was not a big deal since we got here safe and sound. Um, and I believe that last point does come from talking to the bank president, and as we've mentioned a number of times, that is not something we um, really uh, um, know how to do. But once again, I am still soliciting suggestions, so feel free to chime in on the comment box or send me a PM. Anyway, um, we are here at the uh, camp of, I believe it's the Independence, I can never remember the name of it, the Independence Joint Stock and Mining Company, I believe. And uh, there's not too many screens here. Uh, in fact, I believe we cycle back through if we just walk over to the next screen. But uh, we're going to take a look. And this is the camp of Long Island Joy Mining and Stock Company. From the north edge of the camp, there is a great, a great view of the Missouri River and the plains. All right. So this guy over here doesn't do too much. We'll, we'll try talking to a few people. Uh, so he's out of breath from chopping wood, apparently. And I'm not really sure what this supposed is supposed to be. We've been enrolled in this uh, organization, and as you'll see, it's kind of actually odd, our role in it. But we need to talk to this fellow first. He actually does have something to say. And the man's reading the books. Uh, the man reading the book says, It's a beautiful day to just relax and read a good book. The going will be tough in a few weeks, so I'm enjoying every moment of this easy life. I, it's kind of interesting this is easy life. The man continues, Since we'll be traveling together, I'd like to give you something. Here, take this book. I'd like you to have it. You graciously receive it and say thank you. And read the book. And as you can see, this is the book of Genesis, meaning that we have a copy of the Holy Bible. And um, we actually do, you can't actually flip through it. And I'm going to show you something that we probably shouldn't know yet, but if you say read Psalm, it will flip to the 23rd Psalm. And um, we actually will um, need that later on. You cannot, however, it, those are only two. Uh, pages in the Bible that actually appear. You can't go to, say, uh, read the book of Romans or something. See, Romans isn't recognized, and you can't just flip through it. But um, So the so the uh, game does help you with where you need to go, but we'll eventually um, use that and figure it out. Anyway, um, we are going to... Uh, I think you can actually at some point eat this pig on the spit, and I think it's a bad idea to do so. All right. <clears throat> well, that's kind of annoying. Anyway, he just talks about how he's going to pick on the spit, as we see. So we can talk to this guy. The man sitting on the log says, Hello, young sir. I'm glad to see we've got some young blood along on this trip. We're going to need it. All right. So, um, I guess we can look at the pig. There's a pig on the spit over the fire. Alright, so let's go over, I don't know if the elapsed time, it's still on, uh, I guess, I don't think it really makes too much of a difference now, there's, I guess, at some point, we do have to check out another thing that's, I don't know how dependent it is on the computer clock, but, um, anyway, we'll, we'll get that in a second, let's talk to some of these guys, the man's engaged in an intriguing conversation with the captain, 
is, as is he. But if you talk to the captain, apparently he's not as intrigued. So we introduce ourselves to the captain. He say, excuse me, my name is Jared Wilson. I'll be going to California with you. Welcome to the Long Island Joint Mining and Stock Company, Jared. Bellows the seasoned-looking man. It's great to have you join us. Apparently he also advertises for certain cereal brands. My name is Captain Buddy. That's right, Captain Buddy. I'm going to do everything within my power to take this company safely across the country to California. Before we get too far, Jared, there's something you need to know. The company fund is running low. I'm asking all the company members to contribute everything they can so that we can all make it to California as soon as possible. And that is a hint that we have to hand over the rest of our money. So, regardless of how much we make, you hand it over, and <clears throat> there's no real need for cash for the rest of the game. Well, I shouldn't say that, but um, at least the cash you have from Brooklyn, there's no need for it, or if there is, you don't get to keep it. All right. Uh, you're a bright-looking young man, Jared, and I have an assignment for you. When the plains are turning green from growing grass and the mud is beginning to dry, we need to make haste to the riches in California. But in order to do that, we are going to need a fine team of animals to pull these heavy wagons. I am charging you with the responsibility of obtaining these animals. The company fund will pick up the tab. Head south into Independence to find the team and report back to me when you have accomplished your mission. That's what I meant about not really 100% understanding how this works. I guess is some corporate uh, venture uh, where a bunch of people pool their resources together in order to, um, uh, I guess, make it easier to travel. But it seems kind of weird that you have to pony up all your money and then you're doing uh, a good deal of the work. <laughs> kind of like some hard labor fantasy camp, I guess. In any event, all right, well, let's uh, pause for a second to save the game. Okay. It doesn't take too much time to pause to save the game in this in this game, as unlike Quest for Glory 3, where for whatever reason it lagged a little bit. But I still don't want to read up too much of your time with that, and I saved it. So let's see if we can eat the pig. It's not done roasting. Okay. And, whoa, we're in Independence, Missouri pretty quickly. And this guy's going to help us purchase um, some of the oxen that we need. As you can see in the distance, there's this probably a schoolhouse, maybe a church or something, a few houses, so it kind of does look like a little bit of a town, so it's kind of neat, um, at least for an old EGA game like this. Hello, young Greenhorn, what can I do for you today? Alright, do we want young oxen or mature oxen? Well, we want mature oxen, or the young oxen, um, I don't know what happened. Uh, so, um, I guess I just can't make it, whereas the mature oxen will drag you pretty well, or take the um, coach pretty well. I will deliver them to your company camp before nightfall. Alright, so we took care of pretty much what we need to do there. And it's interesting that we're buying oxen, but actually everything here seems to be a horse in the stable. I wonder if we can open the door, open the gate. Okay, so that's pretty much what we need to do. And we're still got a little bit of time until, and surprisingly, you end up right back at the camp. And so as you can see, there are not too many screens. Uh, there's where you can purchase the oxen. There's two areas of the camp. And that is about all. So it's not too much goes on here. Let's see. Should we, I guess think we should talk to the captain again. At some point, we have to, I believe if you go in the background or try to go behind the tents, that's where you can check to see what the uh, grass is like. Okay, so he's trusted us to get the right oxen. It's up to you to determine when our company should head west. If we leave too early, the plains will be muddy and the wagons will sink to their axles, and the animals will not have enough grass to eat. But if we wait until the plains are fully green, it may be too late. Then we will face the gut-wrenching thought of encountering an early winter storm in the Sierra Nevada mountains. Report back to me, Jared, when it's time to head west. Or report back to me when it's time to head west, Jared. Okay, well, that's interesting that we have that assignment. Um, you'd think maybe the captain or somebody more experienced might want to make an important decision like that also as to what type of ox we purchase, but um, that is not the case. 
in uh, this game, which is Gold Rush. And we are out of time, so we're going to sign off for now, and we will be back next time.